Are you an IT professional or would you like to be an IT professional? If so, then selecting the right technology track to go down, that can be a bit challenging. We've got so many different options out there. We've got cloud and collaboration, enterprise networking, SD-WAN, cybersecurity, and there's money to be made in all of those tracks, but out of all those, there's one that really stands out in terms of job demand. Hi, my name is Kevin Wallace. I'm a double CCIA with over 35 years in IT, and in my career, I have never seen such demand as what we're seeing right now for cybersecurity. The most recent data I can find shows that in the U.S. alone in 2025, there are about 450,000 open cybersecurity positions. Now, I'm not suggesting that we all run out and become cybersecurity professionals, but what I am suggesting is that if we're in the IT world, we need to know something about cybersecurity because it's going to show up in whatever field we're in, whether it's SD-WAN or collaboration or, or whatever, we're going to need to know something about cybersecurity. And I think a great cybersecurity certification to get started with is the CCST, the Cisco Certified Support Technician in Cybersecurity. And the reason I say this is a great first cybersecurity certification is that it doesn't require that you have years of experience. It doesn't require that you be an expert. It's a great entry-level cybersecurity certification from Cisco. And if you want to continue on the Cisco cybersecurity track, you can then get the Cisco Cybersecurity Associate previously known as the Cyber Ops Associate, or at the professional level, you can get the Cybersecurity Professional, and that was previously known as the Cisco Cyber Ops Professional. And something really unique about CCST Cybersecurity is that this certification never expires, and there's no experience or training required to take the exam. And if you're considering taking the CCST cybersecurity exam, I wanted to give you my take on it. I recently took the exam and I'm gonna grade it on several different factors. Number one is registration. I'll give it a good for registration. There was a bit of confusion because Cisco changed the link you go to to register for this exam. Sometime back, I created a video on how to register for this exam. In fact, in that video, I demonstrate how you can go to certiport.pearsonview.com and get signed up. But when I went to register for myself for the real thing, the CCST cybersecurity exam was nowhere to be found. Instead, you register for this exam like you do most other Cisco exams by going to pearsonview.com slash Cisco. So I'll give it a good for registration and the cost i'm going to rate that as low and that's compared to other cisco exams and people certainly have different opinions about what is a low cost or a high cost exam but compared to other cisco exams this is at the lower end at the time of this recording in the u.s i paid 125 dollars to register for this exam and that's well below what i would pay for the ccna exam or any of the ccmp exams or certainly the cca lab and as far as difficulty, I would rate this as easy. Again, easy compared to other Cisco exams. I won't say that any Cisco exam is easy by itself, but comparatively, this was on the easier side of Cisco exams. I really didn't find anything I considered to be a trick question. In fact, I would say many of the questions could be answered just using common sense and deduction. You're not quite sure what the right answer is, but you know it's not A or B or C, so it must be D as an example. The duration was also short compared to other Cisco exams. Cisco tells us on their website that this and other CCST exams, they're 50 minutes in duration. And Cisco also tells us that for a CCST exam, uh, there are typically 35 to 50 questions on the exam. So fairly short exam. Personal experience, as I looked at my timer as I was ending the exam, it took me uh, 21 minutes. So I was going through the questions at a rate of about two per minute. I think that also speaks to the difficulty level of these questions. Next up is the accuracy of the exam blueprint. Cisco often says that they have the right to ask any question on their exams, even though it's not explicitly spelled out in the exam blueprint. So when ranking an exam, I want to see, did they exercise that right very often in this exam? Or was everything covered in the exam blueprint? And I would say this exam blueprint is excellent. There may have been only one term that I needed to know for the exam going through it that was not explicitly spelled out in the blueprint. I think that's excellent. Next up is accuracy of questions. I've taken many Cisco exams where I very much disagree with the question or the answers provided, and I've spent lots and lots of time leaving comments, but I've got to say for this exam, the accuracy of the questions was really good. In fact, that's something to be cautious of if you've taken a lot of Cisco exams. 
Because normally when I'm taking a Cisco exam, I'm looking for the exception to the question. I'm thinking, oh, this is the obvious answer, but there's this one exception. If we did this and this, it could also be answer C, not just A. So I'm going to go for this thing that's not obvious. Here, the answers are fairly straightforward. I really didn't find anything where I thought they were trying to trick me. But I did find one or two questions where I wasn't really happy with the way the question was worded given the answers provided, seeing that there was very much an exception to that question. But I tried to remind myself, go for the obvious answer here. And as soon as I completed the exam, I got the screen showing me my score. It told me I passed and I could print out that score report. But it's not really official official until you get an email from Cisco saying that your score has been posted. And it took about an hour to get that. And I think that's a very reasonable amount of time. And that's my take on Cisco's CCST cybersecurity exam. And if that exam is in your future, I wanted to let you know that I have just completed my CCST cybersecurity video training series course. And the videos in the course, I shot all of those in a crisp 4K resolution. And after each of the nine content modules, I give you a module quiz. This is going to test your understanding of that module before you move on to the next module. And the quizzes are available in a couple of different formats. There is a graded exam engine, so you can check your score after taking the exam. And in addition to that, I've got a PDF of each of these module quizzes that you can print out. And that PDF is going to give you detailed explanations of the answers. And after you complete all of the content, I challenge you with two full-blown practice exams. And like the module quizzes, you can take these in our online exam engine, and you can also download and print out PDFs of these exams for your offline study. And another downloadable great study resource for you is a PDF of the course slides. And you might want to print those out ahead of time, and you can take notes on those slides and follow along on those slides as you go through the content. And then they serve as a great review as you're studying for the exam. And even though the CCST cybersecurity curriculum is very theory-based, there's not a lot of hands-on built into the curriculum, I think you're going to learn some of these concepts better if you do get your hands dirty and you get some hands-on experience. Now, these are optional, but I highly suggest going through our seven labs that we give you with this course. I give you a PDF of each lab guide, and that walks you through step-by-step -step performing the labs on your own gear. And when designing this course, I was meticulous in making sure that we covered every single topic on Cisco's CCST Cybersecurity Exam Blueprint. And if you think that learning the fundamentals of cybersecurity would be a good next step for your career, I would be honored if you let me guide you through our CCST Cybersecurity video training series. And even though I did not put this course on Udemy, it is available from my website and you get lifetime access. To check it out, just go to kwtrain.com slash ccst hyphen cyber. That's kwtrain.com slash ccst hyphen cyber. Thanks for watching and I wish you all the best in your cybersecurity studies.